What is up guys, Nick here today and welcome to another video. This one's going to be a guide on how to safe spot Venonatus. Uh, mostly on a pure, but regular main accounts can do the same thing. This is my gear setup. I have the crossbow, a ranger's tunic, and an archer's ring eye. I don't know what, you know, I'm sure there are better things I can bring than ranger tunic. I'm sure ranger boots are better, but I'm not coming out here with 35 mil when it's pretty easy to... I'm aggressive, man. I like to just attack people and kill shit, so there's been times that I've gotten a little too aggressive and I get skull tricked, and it's fine. I'm not afraid to admit it. So, it can happen. Sometimes you can get smited out as well, especially with 52 prayer. So, my extra plus one is the granite mall uh, to try to anti-PK with. But this is my inventory setup as well. We have the two uh, divine ranging potions, four brews, and I only bring three manta rays and a crom wand and a shit ton of prayer so i'll be doing this in the 1750 worlds i also brought a sand few serum that way if i get poisoned i could drink that and it restores my prayer as well and a stamina pot so we can go on out so i realize most people don't have the ornate teleport box thing in their house so just bring a games necklace for your teleport out you're gonna go to the court beast cave and uh, a lot of people don't have skill total worlds either so i understand just try to just realize that there will be a lot of PKers here, and you will be hunted pretty aggressively, especially if you're a higher level, uh, closer to 100s. Pretty much every combat bracket can attack you up here, whether it's level 80s or maxed accounts, and especially like med levels between like 100 and 110. So just be aware of that we're gonna run all the way out to that little mound I just showed on the map. I'm gonna get into the 1750 world before I get there, especially since I have quite a bit of risk with the crossbow you definitely want it charged i usually bring like 1000 charges on it i understand what i'm willing to lose if i do die and okay that guy's already here uh i'm gonna go find a world and i'm gonna show you guys what tiles to mark okay so for the tiles that we're gonna mark there's this set of two webs i'm standing next to right now see where the change of tile color change it's like gray and then it goes to brown ish you're gonna mark that second tile in you're gonna stay in one spot west of that at all times while you're doing the safe spot and then these two tiles over here see where there's like a gap between those two webs it's like regular just brown tiles well that's where you're gonna mark those two tiles this entire safe spot is dependent on clicking the exact tick that you need to he's gonna look at you when he spawns and you have to click a game tick after he looks at you you have to have protect magic up at all times you can't skip a game tick so that means if you need to eat something so let's say your health is at like 60 something and you want to eat a manta ray you can't miss a game tick so eating that will delay it and he'll be able to come right into melee range with you same if you take off prey magic for a second so you're going to want to keep prey magic up the entire time if you're going to eat you need to do it in between kills unless you have brews like i do but i'm using divine ranging pot so uh really try not to eat during the kill uh, if you click him too fast when he spawns so clicking him right away when he spawns he's going to get melee range of you i think that's the most common mistake people make that's the mistake i made when i was learning this spot i just kept clicking it too early and so i'll show it at the end of this kill what the timing looks like it really isn't too bad when you get used to it but it does take some practice i'll also go through and show like an instance where i click it too fast and have to reset it uh ew 375 dark fishing bait that's yuck uh, i'll also show the loot from an hour of doing venonatus you make quite a bit of money from doing it i can make you know couple mil an hour that's without drops like one to two mil an hour without it so once he spawns he looks at me and i click i know it's really hard to see but the more you so i definitely watch that over again if you can you have to be right on time with it otherwise it's going to keep happening where you have to keep going back and forth and it's just not going to work out so i'll show you another situation all right, this time I'm going to show you what happens if you fuck up and wait too long to attack. Or here, I'll attack it too fast, actually, because this can happen. See how he's he waits for one step, but doesn't wait that two seconds. So then you'll start to get fucked up like this, and you'll have to lure him all the way over here to pull him out of the aggro. And he'll go back to his safe spot in the middle. 
I usually try to get to that web right there. And you don't want to run back too, too fast. So now he has to go onto the other side of these. It's just something, you know, doing. Oh, fuck. Trying to do it for the video's sake. That way you guys know how to fix this, or if you do it wrong, uh, how to fix it. So if you click it way too fast, like I did there, that's just going to fuck it up. It's going to pull him right at you. He doesn't do like that delay right at the set of squares. So you wait for him to look at you like that. And he should delay twice right here. Just like that. And then he pulls back into a safe spot. You'll keep Prey Mage on. And you'll be set back up. But if you're gearing up the way that I am. Unless my Divine Ranging Potion is almost fully wore out. Then I'll use my brews. I try to save them in case any PKers. The best way to not get PK'd is to try to get yourself into single combat. Just literally run right to here, anywhere over in here, because if any PKer is along this line right here, this square before it goes brown to blue, this is all multi. So Venonatus is going to get on them and they cannot attack you. Please don't try to run south. If you try to run south because you're panicking, you're going to die. The best thing you could do is run right here and stand right under the boss and right next to it and just start chugging your bruise. If that doesn't work and they're not and they're still hitting you, they're not able to get off of you and you're going to have to run all the way down to green dragons. But literally the best thing you could do is stand right here. So that's just my little TED talk on how not to die here. Uh, if I get any examples on video, I'll show you guys. But to be honest, as a pure here in 1750 worlds, I don't get attacked very often. There we go, 60 Onyx Bolt Tips, recording the, alright, I just tried to price check it when I know it's in my damn looting bag, <laughs> it is, uh, 484k for Onyx Bolt Tips. So this is the loot I got from one hour of killing Venonatus, uh, I got 1.2 mil, I didn't get any rare drops, but still without any rare drops, it's still quite a bit of money. So, I wish you guys the best of luck on the pet. If you guys have any questions at all on how to do this method, I didn't want to slow it down at all because when I was learning how to do it, when I was watching it slow down, it really messed me up and I was killing it too slow. Or trying to attack it too slow. Uh, so yeah, you can get 20 to 25 kills an hour. It's a really good pet to camp for. A lot of fun anti-PKing. Uh, it'll be a good time. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe if you're new for next uh, Wilderness Guide and other pet guides as well. Have a good one, boys.